My name is Charles Taylor and I'm the Head of School of Mathematics. The Department of Statistics has uh, probably two main really strong areas which are known nationally and internationally. Um, a slightly historical one, which is still strong but has been strong for a number of years, is in shape analysis and image analysis. The second area, which is um, a new uh, venture really over the last maybe four or five years, is in statistical bioinformatics, which really looks at applications of statistics in the area of bioinformatics, in particular proteomics is a, is a very big strength. And there's, that's grown partly out of the shape analysis problems because proteins have structures which are 3D structures and so you can characterize what they do by looking at the shapes of them. A statistics PhD leads to many openings and I think the, the track record of people who've been doing one at Leeds and the, the types of jobs they go into shows the variety of possibilities that are available. So some people who do a PhD do it without really knowing what they're going to do afterwards but they've, they've decided they enjoy doing research and they don't want to pursue knowledge and just to see what they can get up to as it were in creative thinking. Um, what they do afterwards often is not determined at the beginning and they, they think about it more subsequently but there's a huge range of jobs available. People often think you know you don't need to do research in order to go into a, a regular job and in fact in statistics the range of jobs available for a PhD is very very large so there are lots of jobs um, like being a postdoc or a research assistant there are lectureship jobs, there are jobs in health and medicine and drug companies and in finance. So the range of possibilities, because the world is being bombarded with data, um, it's very, very easy to, to collect data. You have CCD cameras by the dozen and it, all of these things generate masses and masses of data. And so there's always going to be a role for statisticians in really analyzing this and seeing what we can learn for the benefit of society in doing it. And companies do that and governments do that. So there's no shortage of opportunities as a result of a PhD. So statistics PhD is a very useful qualification to have. It leads to lots of different uh, job openings. There's a huge range of uh, things people have, have been and done when they've graduated from here with their PhD. I think when choosing a place to go for a PhD, one of the most important things is the supervisor. And usually we choose a supervisor who's in a particular area of interest in your research. And I'll say three particular areas stand out in the statistics department. So one is in just sort of regular statistical methods. The other is in the area of statistical bioinformatics. And a third one is in the area of probability and stochastic modeling related to finance. So for all these three areas, Leeds is very strong. And within the REE, we came uh, in the top five nationally. So it's a very, very strong department in terms of its research. And the environment that people work in, so they have a sort of cohort of students that they relate to within their own research area, but then more widely within the Department of Statistics, and then more widely still within the School of Mathematics. So a lot of events and activities are run as a school for PhD students. And so you have this smaller and slightly larger and bigger circle of people you can relate to and benefit from in sharing your research interests.